Dave Parody here with another slide makeover video podcast based on the ideas in my book, The Visual Slide Revolution. Today we want to look at tables in PowerPoint. Tables are a great way to organize information into columns and rows, and they can be very useful. The issue is the defaults. When we use the default table in PowerPoint, the design, the look of it, and the behavior aren't as optimal as we would like them to. So what we want to do is take a look at a slide today that comes from a viewer in the pharmaceutical industry and they use this table to uh, communicate to physicians about the particular medications that they sell. And it's a good example of using the default table in PowerPoint and then I want to show you what we can do with it. So let's take a look at this slide. So here's our slide and uh, as you can see they've got a table and it uses the defaults that uh, PowerPoint does and, and the defaults that they introduced in PowerPoint 2007 are to alternate colors for every single row. That's a challenge because colors should be used to group like items, not simply to separate. That's what lines are for. Um, you'll also notice down at the bottom they have a, an empty row, which seems to suggest they forgot something. Uh, it becomes confusing for the audience. The headings, which give us context, are difficult to see because there's not a lot of contrast, certainly not as much contrast as the, the text in the table. And when we put it all up at once, it is overwhelming. Now, obviously the audience here understands a lot of these terms uh, much more than we might, but still, it's a lot of information to take in. So let me show you what I did with this particular slide to change it and uh, make it what I believe is far more effective. Starts with here. We talk about here's our table. We're going to talk about the different classes and again the technical jargon. But what I do is, is each time I want to reveal a new row, I do that and I can then talk about that particular class and examples. I can talk about the next one, I can talk about the next one, and talk about the final one. What I've done here is I've made the headings bigger, bolder. You can see them, that gives context. The only color is in that heading row because that's what I want to separate. I don't want to separate each of the other ones. The other ones are uh, the similar type of information, so I want to keep them the same color. I've revealed it one by one by using exit animation of rectangles over the information, so now I can deliver this in a much more effective way as a slide. So, before we get to the lessons, a reminder. If you want more information on the book and get your own copy, go to www.visualsliderevolution.com for more information on my training, consulting, other resources, webinars. Go to www.thinkoutsidetheslide.com. So our lessons today on using tables in PowerPoint. First of all, just because the default comes up a certain way, don't accept those layouts. The ones that have the alternating colors for each row, don't accept those layouts. Make it much cleaner group related information by color, but don't just accept what the default comes up with. Make sure you only have enough rows or columns for the information you need. If you have extra ones, it's confusing to the audience because they're wondering what's missing. Is there something I, I'm not getting here? So make sure you only have the number of rows and columns that you really need for your information. The headings give context to the audience. That's what's going to give them context, whether it's column headings as we saw in the example today. Sometimes you also have row headings, but make sure the headings can be seen, give them bold, make them bigger, make them easy to see and stand out from the rest of the information. Color, as I said, is only to group like information. Let's say you had two categories, put them in two different colors. It's not just for decoration, which unfortunately was the default used. And finally, when you're delivering a table, one of the things you want to do is to build the table row by row or column by column, whatever makes sense for your information, use the technique I showed you today, exit animation. You put a, a box, a rectangle over the information that's the same color as the background and you simply animate it to come off the slide when you click to go ahead. So tables are a great way to organize your information in PowerPoint, but use these tips to make sure that the tables you use on your slides are effective. This is Dave Parody with another Slide Makeover video podcast.